guys, we're not kidding. Popular fun girl looks so amazing. The sun is hitting you just right. Oh, you look so cool. Mom, let's do eeny, meeny, miny, mo. All right, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Lily is a baby. Wait, what? Why did popular fun girl become realistic? This looked like a joke. Gosh, you guys, we're not kidding. Popular fun girl looks so amazing. The sun is hitting you just right. Oh, you look so cool. Whoa, I do. Ours is gonna look so shiny, just like the gold. And wait, you just gave me a really good idea for the first block to test. Let's see what blocks of diamonds look like. Let's make our house out of <gasps> sparkly diamonds. Roxy, are you seeing this right now? It literally looks like glass. It's so bright, my eyes. I know, right? This is awesome. I love the brightness so much. All right, let's make the base all out of diamond blocks for our house. Oh, but then maybe we use redstone. Ooh, it's going to be so cool to see what redstone looks like. It's probably going to be super duper awesome, but not as awesome as diamonds because, you know, diamonds are better. Redstone is literally going to look like the whole entire world of diamonds. Oh. What? All right, Roxy, we'll see if it looks like the whole entire world of diamonds. I'm going to grab it right now. And oh my gosh, Roxy, this looks insane. I told you. It has insane details. Oh my gosh, right here does not look like Minecraft. This looks like a completely different game or even like the outdoors. Ah, the outdoors. <laughs> oh my gosh. And oh my gosh. All right. Let's do it. Redstone shall go everywhere. And oh my gosh, Roxy, I'm not even going to lie. You know me. I love my diamond blocks, but redstone definitely looks way cooler. I told you, redstone is the best. And wait a minute. Instead of making the entire top out of redstone, how about we use a pink block for Lily? What's a pink block we could use? Let's use pink wool. Ooh, great choice. And oh my gosh, it looks so cool. It looks like actual real wool. This is the best. Stuff. It opens for Luke. What about we use emeralds? Oh my gosh, that's gonna be awesome. Emeralds definitely look super duper cool. I need to see this right now. And hmm, what? Oh. Yeah is the beautifulest thing I ever seen after redstone. I know, right? It even has iron details all around it. I love emerald blocks so much. Let's make this top layer out of it. Let's go. This is the beautifulest house ever. I know, right? It is the beautifulest house ever. Roxy, I don't think that's real words, but whoa, we have the four layers of realism. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. We need an awesome roof. Hmm. What's something we could use for the roof? Let's try netherite. Wait. Netherite is about to look crazy. Let's see. And wait. And my hand, it looks like trash. This does not look cool at all. But what do you place it down? All right. Let's see. And oh, my gosh. How did they make a black block look cool? It's awesome. This is almost as cool as redstone. The detail on it is crazy. How is there this much detail in just a black Black block. That is insane. That must have been so hard to put detail on this. I know, right? But they still made it look amazing. But wait a minute, Roxy. When we go inside the house, there's going to be no lighting from the outside. We need to make a light. And I know exactly what item to use for light. And uh, yeah, it's about to get super duper dark. Oh gosh, oh gosh. I can't even see a thing right now. Me neither. I'm blind. But wait, Roxy, do you see the redstone? It's like lighting up the room. This is awesome. It's kind of like a party room in here. Yeah, it's so cool. But we do need some lights. So let's grab some glowstone. I wonder what this is going to look like. And we could put one down here. And oh, whoa, Roxy, this looks so cool. Um, so what about we make a chandelier? What, Roxy? You are a genius. A chandelier would be awesome. And whoa. Oh, check this out. We're making a unique chandelier. Let's make it, like, go all around like that. OMG. And, um, Roxy, I think it only looks cool. It didn't really bright up the room. How about some torches? Oh, yeah. Torches make a lot more sense. And, uh, what the heck is this? <laughs> Not a torch. It looks like a light switch, and there's nothing that can beat the real outside. So what if we just make the top actually out of glass? Oh, yeah. That would look so cool. And we could even make it a colored glass. So let's make it black colored glass. All right. I'll get rid of the chandelier. And I got the black glass, and whoa. It literally looks like water is above us. This is crazy. Yeah, it does. It looks awesome. Whoa. 
Oh, we're literally floating. And now that we don't have normal blocks on top of us, we can actually have light in here. So we're not like blind the whole time. Yeah, I don't want to lose my eyesight. Neither do I. And whoa, Roxy, did you even notice the clouds? They look like real life clouds. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize. So cool. So let's break out over here. And this is where the door is going to be. Now let's see what doors we have to choose from. I'm going to take a couple so we can pick out the coolest one. Great idea. And first we have the oak door and whoa, this thing looks awesome. Next up we have a spruce door and oh my gosh, Roxy, this is literally a real life door. Check this thing out. That's like my door at home. I know, right? Now let's try the birch one and whoa, real door handle. That's like my second door at home. <laughs> What about the jungle door end? Oh, I love this one. I love this one. It's so, like, modern and nice. That's like the third door on my house. Oh, my gosh. Roxy, you have a lot of doors. And whoa. I actually really like the iron one. We could use this for our backyard. That's like my fifth door of my house. Roxy, you're capping. You don't have this many doors. And uh, this one has holes in the door. That's not that practical. Yeah have that door. But what about this one? This one has like a lot of holes and this one has ooh, fancy design. Uh, That's like my uh, I didn't keep track. That's, oh my gosh Rox, you have so many doors and oh, whoa, this one has crazy detail. I love that one. And this is the final one and it's blue but it's kind of trash so let's see which ones are the worst hmm, I'd say this one is the worst. This one's bad. This one's bad. I like the iron. I don't like people looking at me through holes in the door. Hmm. Which one do we get rid of, Roxy? Oh, um, let's do eeny, meeny, miny, mo. All right. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Lily is a baby. Roxy is a big boy. Just kidding. He's a baby. That one. We're getting rid of this one. Now we need to do it again, right? Oh, the night Baby. Oh, my gosh. You sound like a baby. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a omzi by the toe. If omzi says omzi, go. Eeny, meeny, miny, ohms. That one's done. Now we just have two doors left. We have this one, and we're going to use this door for the front over here. Perfect. And we're going to use the iron door for the back. So let's save this for when we make our backyard. And oh, wow, our house looks awesome. But ohms inside is Empty. Yeah, you're totally right. There's nothing inside here. What do you say? We make a couch out of some realistic stairs. Let's see what we have to work with. Cobblestone looks awesome. It does? All right, let's see. And whoa, super detailed and realistic. I love it. But oh, my butt hurts. Yeah, that's probably not the best. And oh, whoa, spruce looks crazy cool. I love spruce too. Yeah, but it's kind of like stone. Yeah, it still hurts your butt. Hmm, what's a cover? stair we could use. Sandstone. Oh, yeah. Sandstone is made out of, like, sand, I think. So, this shouldn't hurt our butts too much. And it looks really realistic and cool. Awesome. Boom. We now have a sandstone stair. Awesome. Now we need a TV. And I know exactly what to use for a TV. First, we need to make the back of it. So, let's use some black blocks like this. And we're going to make a giant. Let's make a plasma screen TV. Now, let's grab a painting. And I think since we are realistic, it should be too and are you serious we still got kung fu ohms that looks like the exact same as normal yeah it does oh my gosh but the lighting is a little bit cooler on it super cool and awesome and this is going to be our backyard and the first thing a backyard needs is a good lawn because right now our backyard is just light blue wool we have to trade you all with some gravel oh yeah that's a perfect lawn type so let's make the entire ground gravel build it down and whoa look at the way gravel looks like when you put it next to a block it starts like going over it awesome oh it's my eyes are for the sun i know right it's literally bouncing off the gravel so nicely it's so bright and oh my gosh wait i see my shadow hello can i see myself dancing in the shadow and oh my gosh i see myself dancing in the shadow this is the coolest thing ever let's go i'm clapping oh my gosh i see it through the shadow that looks awesome but roxy we should leave some gravel Grass, right? Yeah, we need grass so the plants can survive. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think about that. There's definitely realistic plants. Oh, yes, yes, yes. All right, let's fill this all up with some gravel. Then let's add some plants. Great idea. Where do we put the grass? 
Hmm, well, we can make a path right out here out of grass on each side. So let's break all of this down and then set some grass in the middle like this. Then hop on over to this side and do the same. And whoa, this looks insane. The gravel is literally overlapping with the grass and it makes it so cool looking. A few moments later. Hey, we're playing Build to Survive with Overpowered TNT. Check out all the TNTs. Whoa! Yeah, I know. It's pretty crazy. Come on, let's do this. We have to protect the glass. This is the sacred glass. Oh, my goodness gracious. It's so beautiful. Okay, okay. Boys, what's going to protect us from super mega TNT? Remember, this is not normal TNT. There's TNTs that are insane balls. Well, I know one thing for sure. TNT is bad against water. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We should surround our block with water. That would be awesome. So, guys, we got to make a water wall. And do we just put it on top like that? Hmm, I feel like the water is not thick enough. It's only thick on the top, right? Yeah, this isn't going to work like this. Yeah. Hmm, wait, I have an idea, guys. I'm going to put a layer of cobblestone around the glass like that. And we can make it two blocks high like this. And the reason we're putting the cobblestone around it is so we can fill up every single area with water. So it's a complete water source wall. Whoa, this is so thick. Oh. Uh, I know, right? And wait a minute, guys. I know what you're thinking. Underneath has no water. But if we go down here, we could throw water under it. And then replace the floor all with the cobblestone and even the walls. And boom. And underneath that, I'm just going to leave it as water. This is so smart. I know, right? Nothing's getting through us, baby. Oh, my goodness gracious. This is fire. Oh. No, nah, nothing's getting through that. Oh, goodness gracious. Guys, we have to think. Let's use our brains together. What is stronger than another? right block against TNT. Hmm, maybe obsidian. Oh, Roxy, you are literally a genius. Obsidian is immune to normal TNT, so we should make a layer of obsidian. Ooh, great idea. Do it. All right, all right, let's do it. So let's make it two layers away like this. And everyone help me out. Build a wall of obsidian all the way around. And we're gonna make it three blocks tall, one higher than the cobblestone. <laughs> Boom. Whoa, let's go. This obsidian is awesome. This is so so smart. No normal TNT is getting through this. Yes, sir. But oh gosh, guys, I just realized we're not just dealing with normal TNT. Check out how insane these TNTs are. Oh, nuclear TNT. I think that's going to be able to destroy obsidian. But what do we add that's stronger than obsidian? I know exactly what we should add. We have to add something that isn't just one block. We have to add a block that replaces itself. What? How is that even possible? Oh my goodness. Luke, don't you know that you're on the Ohms team? I always Always got the answers, boy. Check it out. If we use sand as a layer, if the bottom layer gets exploded, more falls down. What? This is so smart. I know, right? But we have to make this a couple of layers higher. So build it all the way up here. That's like, oh my goodness gracious, 10 blocks. And make it kind of far away from the obsidian so we have a protective layer. Yup, this is gonna work so good. I know, right? No TNT is getting through this. And even if it does, it's not gonna work because the sand is just gonna respawn over itself. Oh, gracious, the sand is now complete. Let's go. We have complete defense. But don't we get to pick five? TNTs. Yeah, that's in the rules. So what? There's a bunch of sand. But after the first two blasts, there's not going to be enough sand. Oh my goodness gracious. We need to find a way to make an infinite replacing wall generator. Does any of you guys know how to do that? Roxy, any ideas to make an infinite wall? I know who can do it. It's you. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I do know how to do that. Oh my goodness gracious. Do you guys know what a cobblestone generator is? Huh? What is that? Show me. Oh my goodness gracious. How have you not heard of these? So check it out. If you build a structure like this. Put water on one side over here, then on the other side you put lava. Check it out. It makes infinite cobblestone. Even if it breaks, it respawns back. Yeah, but what do we do with this? Really, Roxy? This is so obvious. We can make a wall of these infinite cobblestone blocks and then use sticky pistons to push it up to protect us. So even if it blows up, it just regenerates. Exactly. Okay, guys. So what we have to do is make a row of these. So to do that, we have to grab the magical wand, set the first position here, then fly over
over and set the second position down here and then set it all to ear so we have some room. Now we have to do a bunch of layers of these. So to do that, let's just copy it. So let's set the first position here. Fly all the way over. Set the second position. Then set all of this to some cobblestone. Yeah, yeet. Now the next layer is we have to make it one, two, three, four, five blocks back. So one, two, three, four, five. Then let's make it go all the way down here and make sure it's even. Then yeah, yeet. Let's set the cobblestone. Then let's do this wall over here just like that. Now we have to put a block on the third layer over here. So let's use the magic wand again. Set a block down on the third layer. And now we just got to do the floor. So let me put a block over here. Set it down. Then fly all the way over. And then set it down. Then <gasps> boom. Yeah, ye. It's all set. Now we need lava. Yes, sir. Everyone grab a lava bucket and make sure you put one on each block on this row because it needs to be a lava source block, okay? Yes, sir. Ski. And boom. That's good. Now we have to set water on this side over here. But wait a minute, guys. If you notice underneath this block over here, there's nothing there. We have to do that for over here as well. So on the blocks next to the lava, we got to break it all. So let me go all the way down like that. Oh, gosh. That should be good. Careful, guys. And now let's grab water buckets and only place it on this side over here. Roxy, are you putting on both sides? I forgot. Oh, my gosh. Luke, sponge that side up. You only have to put it all the way on the edge like this. Don't worry, guys. I'll sponge it up. Perfect. Now, let's finish up this side and boom. All of this row is source blocks. Now, let's test it out. If we break these up, uh, guys, why is it turning to obsidian? What? This wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, no, guys. This is not good at all. What do we do? We have to make it so that the lava flows into the water, not the water into the lava. What if we just move the lava back one? Oh, my gosh. Gosh, Luke, you are literally a genius. Yes. Okay. Okay. So everyone, let's clear up all this lava over here. And then you guys make an area so we can add lava over here. All right. Filling it out. Nice. And let me clear all of this over here. And this side is officially cleared out. Oh gosh. We have to get rid of our original build. And okay. It's all gone now. And oh gosh. Are you guys sure that the lava is going to work if we move it back? What? Dude, trust the process. All right. I'm trusting the process. So let's put it all the way down. Oh, gosh. I hope this works. And Yayi, it's all down. Now, let's see if we break it. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Guys, look. It instantly works. And it works for all of them. Luke, you're a genius for suggesting that. Yes, but how do we move it up? Luke, that is super easy. All we have to do is place pistons underneath all of these cobblestone blocks. What do we do about those? Uh, what about a meteor? Dude, you're a genius. Meteor TNT would shred it through that. Now, all that would be left is diamonds and netherite. Hmm, those are both really strong, especially the netherite. What if we softened it up with the Midas TNT? Oh, yeah, that would turn them into gold. Then we could explode it with the final explosion, and we need something really powerful. What do you guys think? How about the nuclear TNT? Oh, my goodness gracious. This loadout is correct. It's now our turn, so let me undo all of my commands. And, um, wait, what? Um, guys? <laughs> um, the uh, base? No! Are you serious? All we did was affect our side. No, 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 no. <gasps> Is our infinite walls broken, boys? No, we spent so much time. And oh my gosh, um, guys, there is no more. Wait, wait, there is redstone over here. And wait, oh, I see what happened. The fire burned everything. No! But wait a minute, boys. I think it's still savable. Check me out. Check me out. Check me out. Let me make a redstone clock over here like this. And then, yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. Think it's yeah. No, no, it's savable. Look, I just saved these it's sides. It's good. The, the cobblestone is cobblestone. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, okay, happening? wait. It's kind of not good. Wait, 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 wait. Don't worry, guys. Um, oh, that's just making it worse. No, no, no. It's not making it. I, I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. Then, uh, wait. Uh, check it out. <gasps> is it working? Yeah, it is working. Luke, it's working. Yeah, guys, look. Look, we have cobblestone. Okay, good. And oh gosh, it just started. Oh no, wait. wait did it, it go off? Huh? Uh, did anything happen? Yeah, I think we're good. Yay, Lily. That did nothing. It was wait, a. Yeah. Got, what, what, wait for what? Why wait do I hear something? What, what am I waiting for? Wait. Uh, uh, oh, what? Oh, what? What? What am I looking Keep at? Oh, what? Oh, oh no. Whoa. This is not. Oh, 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 oh my. Oh, 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 
Oh um, guys, I can't move. Are you guys okay? Dude, I think everything got shredded. Oh no. Um, maybe the glass. So, so maybe the glass survived. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe the glass is somewhere here. Oh my gosh! Hey, what, what's on the floor? Oh my goodness! No! Luke, look what's over here. Oh no, it's our glass. Oh my gosh. And Lily, you literally just destroyed everything. Oh my gosh. But babes, that was so much fun. Yeah, it was. Yay. And that was an awesome adventure. And if you want to join us on the next, click right here. Bye. Bye.